Today is day or festival of Odan Shasti. And uh, for uh, devotees who are familiar with United Kingdom, London, and so on, they know that this is the uh, day that Radha London Ishwara were installed in 1969. 54 years, long time ago. Who, uh, who knows the story of their installation? Boston, that's all. Then I'll tell it briefly, and so I still have time for a bit of class. Uh, it's written at length, the Prabhupada Lila Mrita, Tumal Krishna Maharaj wrote of it. It's uh, 1969, Srila Prabhupada uh, came, and he stayed for quite some months at the uh, John Lennon's place, uh, Tittenhurst Park, in uh, north of London. Who knows who John Lennon is? Okay, more people who know who Radha London is. And uh, John Lennon is one of the Beatles, and I won't ask who knows who the Beatles are. But it's not that important. Uh, Srila Prabhupada had uh, wanted to open a temple in London. London was a uh, strategically important uh, place, not the most important city in the world, but next to the most important city in the world, say New York. And uh, it was also the center, uh, it was the capital of the British Raj, back in Srila Prabhupada's time as a child and then Bhakti Stanta Saraswati Thakur, Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So there was a uh, there was a real sense or there would have been a real sense of victory to uh, have a temple there. Bhakti Stanta Saraswati Thakur wanted a youth hostel where young people would come, they would be fed prasadam. This is, I've got so many things, let me, I'll take this out. Maybe it'll fit like that. Uh, thank you. And uh, he wanted, uh, yes, youth to come and be fed prasadam have free board and in that way make them into devotees. Uh, devotees had already procured by the help of George Harrison, another Beatle who was the most Krishna conscious and favorable Beatle, who Srila Prabhupada had met on multiple occasions. In fact, when Prabhupada was in Vrindavan 1977, when he was leaving the world, he took off one of his rings and he said, send this to George. So Prabhupada had uh, a lot of affection for him. George Harrison, Hari's son. So he's already the son of Hari. And uh, that was in Bury Place, uh, near the uh, museum. And, uh, excuse me, that was the uh, place which devotees had gotten. And uh, Srila Prabhupada wanted to leave. He'd been in uh, London for a long time. So he uh, set this day, Odan Shasti, as the day for the opening of the temple. And I can't remember uh, how many, what time before the actual opening Prabhupada established that, 
But the thing was, there was no deities. How are you gonna? Uh, there, there was Radha, uh, there was uh, Jagannath with Shamasundar Prabhu uh, was making. So, yes, there were uh, deities, but uh, Prabhupada knew that, especially. I should speak closer, especially uh, members of the Indian community who Prabhupada wanted to impress with his devotees and his movement. Uh, Radha Krishna would be would be needed. Uh, in fact, this was the uh, only time, as far as I know, that. Uh, three days or some time even, more than three days prior to sending the three householder couples uh, to uh, London. Uh, they were in Montreal at that time. Srila Prabhupada was in Montreal. And he, uh, he trained them specifically in chanting. If you listen to old kirtans, they're pretty pretty spontaneous, uh, can be quite, also quite uh, wild, of course they're still quite wild sometimes. And uh, Srila Prabhupada trained them because, he, you know, for the Westerners they didn't know what the standard was, uh, Indian people would. Anyway, Prabhupada uh, set a date. Uh, but there were no Radha Krishna deities. So uh, one day, a Mr. Remember what his name was? Shalani Vas? Some uh, Indian gentleman who was the uh, head of a Hindu society. There were already by that time other Hindu Mandis in uh, England. But uh, there's no Hare Krishna temple. Hare Krishna temples were uh, in America. So uh, he came and he said, uh, Swamiji, uh, I'd like you to come and see. We have a set of deities, uh, Radha Krishna deities who have come. We were going to install them in our mandir, but Krishna's finger is chipped, so we can't install them. So, uh, you know, there's that ritualistic approach that if a deity is not fully intact, then he can't be installed, can't be worshipped. Uh, just like uh, Started the story Prabhupada tells about one prince who some dacoids caught and were going to offer it to Kali, but because he had a finger missing, therefore he was unsuitable to be offered. So you have to have a whole, whole body. So Srila Prabhupada said, fine, we'll go. And they had a Volkswagen van. If you know what a Volkswagen van is, that was the... Uh, that was the emblem of hippiedom at that time. I had a Volkswagen van also. And uh, so uh, Srila Prabhupada took some devotees, Shamasundra, Tamal Krishna Maharaj, and uh, they went to see this gentleman. And uh, so the gentleman invited them in, and he had the deities covered. And he wanted to uh, wanted to show Prabhupada the deities. Prabhupada said, no, it's okay, we'll do it a little later. So they talked, and Prabhupada spoke some, and they talked a little more, and I don't know if they ate, uh, ate something. And the gentleman uh, was pointing to the sheet covered deities, and uh, he was saying, well, Swamiji, don't you want to see the deities? Prabhupada said, later, later. So, uh, so at a certain point, Prabhupada said, all right, let's see the deities. 
So devotees went over, took off the uh, took off the sheet, and Prabhupada just looked and he told to Krishna Maharaj and I think Shama Sundar, uh, go see, see if you can lift them up. And uh, they did what Prabhupada said. They didn't know what was going on, but they lifted him up, said, yeah, Prabhupada, no problem. So Prabhupada just turned to the gentleman and he said, all right, we'll take him. <laughs> and Prabhupada walked out of the house and the uh, gentleman uh, was just chasing behind the devotees that are there carrying uh, Radhananda Nishwar. Uh, of course, Prabhupada hadn't named him at that time as yet. And uh, he was protesting, no, no, Swamiji, we'll send, it to, we'll send them to you, and this and that, and Prabhupada just went. He didn't talk, he didn't, uh, he didn't reassure the person, he didn't uh, give him anything, he just said, th got in the car, Thank you very much, and he just told the world, you drive. <laughs> the man was just left standing on the curb, his family, literally Prabhupada had kidnapped Radha Krishna. And uh, I don't know if that gentleman ever came back, but I'm sure he received an invitation. So they drove a little ways, and then Prabhupada said, now stop. So he turned around and then he started offering prayers, Govinda Mahadi Purusham. And, uh, and he took them to the temple and uh, Jamuna Devi said, all right, now you have to make outfits. I don't know, it's a few days before the opening. And uh, so they worked as usual. We used to work at that time 24 hours a day. So Prabhupada was coming to a temple, then for about three days before that we didn't sleep. So we just stopped non-stop, just cleaning, painting, uh, building, doing whatever uh, was needed. And uh, then on this day, uh, 1969, Odanshasti, that installation of Radhalanda Nishura took place. Now just to give you an idea of how fast things get lost over 54 years, Prabhupada said that the installation of Radhalanda Nishura should be worshipped, uh, should, there should be a festival throughout all of Iskon for one whole week. As so Sura Prabhupada continued, uh, considered them very special. He said that uh, London Ishwar's face is just like, uh, just like Krishna's face, very sweet young boy. So that was a uh, real historic event. Sura Prabhupada worked like this. He, uh, he saw. Uh, Krishna had come. Uh, they didn't have Radha Krishna deities. Now Krishna had come. A little chip on the finger is good. Like to, Krishna's perfect. There's no no imperfection uh, in uh, Krishna. And when you worship with devotion, then. Uh, carry what they lack and keep yoga kshema bahami ham. We're not translating. Are we? No. Okay. Yoga kshema bahami ham. And uh, to this day, they're there. Very, very central location. Soho. Uh, street, because they were moved from Bury Place and purchased a uh, building in uh, Soho Street, and that building is still there. 
it's uh, as far as as far as the wall is from uh, Oxford Street, which is the busiest street uh, in the world, shopping street, and uh, very very fantastic uh, location. So. Devotees, when you're traveling, you should always try and stop, stop in London, and uh, and see them. They're very, very lovely, very beautiful. Jai Shri Shri Radhananda Nishwara Ki Jai, and of course he named them Radha London Nishwara. They are the controllers of London. It is an amazing place to live uh, that temple. There are accommodations both for ladies and men, but uh, it's probably the next thing to living uh, in a prison. Not the building uh, or anything, but uh, it's such a rowdy area that uh, maybe I mentioned that the last time. You get, I've seen people killed outside and uh, drunks banging on the door, trying to get in, it's windows being broken. But it's a very high class place now. That's high class. That's the entertainment district, restaurant district.